Hello people that know how's it doing today before this video starts I just want to say very clearly to Tusla and to members of the government if they don't like what I'm saying then tough because that's democracy the constitution of Ireland states freedom of speech freedom of expression and freedom to express your own opinion of government agencies government departments whatever stuff like that and if they have a problem with that then you know there's always the United Nations Human Rights Association so you won't have to worry about it because I'm not afraid to bring it forward if I have to about scandals of trying to shut people up. First things first, too, stuff. Supposed to be protecting the young people of Ireland. Supposed to be ensuring the well-being. Ensuring that the parents are taking care of children. Just to get that out there. Too, is involved with... I am more or less... I'm just going to say it straight out. Too, is more or less trying to roll in like a business. That's nearly what they're trying to do. And it's disgraceful. It's really disgraceful because you know what they're trying to do instead of start stopping children from being abused by parents and doing the and doing the appropriate action. You know what they're doing? They're starting making lies up against people. Uh, m most notably, Morris McCabe, the guard of whistleblower, who was rightly who rightly came out and said what was happening in the guards, which was true, and the state tried to shut them up, more more or less. Apologies for my language, but uh, that's basically what they're trying to do. Tusla, along with the guards, was mostly Tusla. He decided to say that he was a child predator, and which he wasn't. Totally, totally innocent. Totally, just made up lies. And he wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. The thing that really got me annoyed, I used to have faith in Tusla. I have no faith in them now, whatsoever. I have no time for Tusla. I have no faith in them. Because they can't, obviously they can't give the country the service that they should be. Because young people are the most frightful people in society. And Tusla should be protecting young people. And apparently they just want to make up lies instead of doing that, instead of doing their job. Because what they've done with Morris McCabe is they try to black his name, blacken his name. Which is a totally bad thing to do, because you have to write to uh, a good name, as it says. You have to write to a good name. And to black somebody's name, to... What I mean by black somebody's name, to take, give the good name off it. Take a good name, give him a bad name. Which he was totally innocent, he was literally innocent. He was proven in the court of law that he was innocent. And Tusla was to blame, and the gals were to blame. And it's all, it's all down to this, and my apologies for my two things going off, my computer and my phone. Um, but it is too sad, and I have no faith in them, I have no faith in them. Because I, I when, after the Gouda scandal, right, the first thing that came into my head with too slow, I used to have confidence that they were decent before the Gouda, before that scandal in the Gouda. But I have no faith in them now, I have no faith in what they're doing. I have, I have faith in their, the minister. Uh, captured support minister for children and youth affairs have faith in her because i know she's a tough tough person and she won't take any she even admitted herself that there was corruption in the tusla because she's not um the head you know she's not looking she's not telling them what to do she's just a governing kind of body if you know what i'm saying it's kind of you know this she's put somebody in charge but it's the people that's in tusla it's not, it's not i'm not blaming her at all like she's doing her best i can see i can see that because i met her once or twice myself and i'm just saying with what i've seen at the time the Pope came to Ireland, um, the trim mother and baby homes, she didn't even say hello to him when, she went, when he went to the office and met her. He, she grabbed him by the, the armpits and said, more or less said, there was children killed by the Catholic Church in mother and baby homes and were buried and then they don't want to be talked about. And she basically told him how straight to the Pope and grabbed him so he wouldn't go away. And believe me, that shows something that's a commitment. That, the, that shows a commitment to the, the get your message across. And that, the, the, and that's what I struck with. That was, uh, like, I met her twice. I've, I have told her confidence in her. Because she's not feeling gay. She used to be an independent. So um, I've told her confidence in what she's doing. And she's a very tough cookie to be messed with, to be honest with you. I wouldn't mess with her. And like, I just appealing to her. I'm appealing to Minister Sapone to... Because it is... It is... It's gone, it's gone too far. Too slow, it's gone too far. Because do you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to, I suppose, neglect the children of Ireland. I suppose they're just trying to make money, make profit, make a bit of quick buck, if you know what I'm saying. Because we don't know what they're doing. And as simple as that, I'm not so sorry straight. But we didn't know what was happening in the Gals when Tim Morris McCabe said about it. We didn't know what was happening to Tuesday before it was emerged that they were blacked his name in the wrong. And I want to know, what's Tuesday doing? What kind of cases are they working on now? Are they doing work? Are they doing the people of Ireland well, who they're getting taxpayers' money? Are they wasting taxpayers' money and running around with their heads in the backside? Because I would love to know. 
Because I could, I could tell you something for a fact too, son. I could tell something for everybody a fact. There is tons and tons of children in this country. I see estimates about 500 children in this country that's been neglected. And Tucson knows who do, who's who's doing this. And I say that, I'm just assuming. And before I say anything, I'm not accusing Tucson. Because I know they're going to jump down my neck and say, you know, you accused us of that. I'm just saying that they might be just taking vibes. I don't know. And I, they could prove me wrong. To be honest. They could show me the evidence. Say, we took away this child because his mother was neglecting him. I was like, that's fine. That's grand. I can see the evidence of that. She even admitted it herself. That's grand. That's 100%. And the child even said to himself. But taking away a child. For the midst of nothing. Maybe because uh, the mother's struggling. I understand if the mother's struggling homeless. Like, you have to. Like, another thing too that struck me. Homeless. No matter homeless children. Is Tusa not able to open the back wallet? You know, if you know what I'm saying. Give some money down to the homeless children. Because they're supposed to be protecting the children of Ireland. Making sure they're well, making sure they're safe. And obviously they're not, because there's 10,000 10, people homeless. Right, there's 3,000 children homeless. There's your answer. 3,000 children homeless. That's 3,000 a lot. If you take about 3,000 euro in money, I'm not cute, I'm not saying they're money before I'm going to jump I'm just saying, um, if you had 3,000 euro, if I had 3,000 euro here, that'd be quite a lot of money, wouldn't it? Now you take of that as people. Imagine there was 3,000 people behind me. You know, behind me in this room. Then it fill up the whole room. Now you literally have to cram everybody into the room. Like it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But the two that has to go one 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 around making up accusations against people who are totally in the right. Most McCabe was in the right now. Pat, pat him on the back because he done a very good work and he suffered heavily from the state. And I really, I, I don't have confidence in two though. And we never have confidence to do unless they change their leadership, unless they pick up their axes and say, you know what, we have to do better. We have to do better. We're not being paid here to do a half assed job. We're being paid to do the best we can. Because that's our master for two I'm not asking them to turn it into a business. Like, it should not be a business. You get funded by the taxpayer, You're not get extra vibes by Tower of Dick and Berry over there. Um, you know, two slab should be there for the children. It should not be a business because I the way it's looking to be it's like the one like a business and just to say one on the last note, I really really hope that who the whoever's doing shady things in Tusla, let's put it that way. Ups their game, because I really really hope because these are these are children's lives you're messing with. You're not messing with. You, I wouldn't mind if you're messing with sheets of money. I wouldn't care. You could go fire away. At least you won't kill any children. No. Leave children to harm then, if you're just messing around with money, like the bikes that, but anyway, um, that's a whole story for another day. Um, but, um, you know, actions need to be done. Actions need to be done, because I don't think Tusla has learned from them scandals. And I don't think the weather loan, unless somebody puts pressure on them. And unless somebody knocks it into them, saying, you know, look at this. That was totally unacceptable, what you've done to this guard. You know. No, that, that's all they need to do. And put put the fear of God into them. That's more or less what they would do. Anyway, take your watch. Just to say to two, so anybody has a problem. This falls under the Constitution. I am a very constitutional expert. I know everything about the Constitution of Ireland. And about the Human Rights Declaration. And it's fair, and I checked it a hundred times. I've done this video twice. And recorded this twice. And it falls under freedom of speech. And it falls under the freedom to express your opinion about governments... Or about government departments. You know. I checked it up. I, I don't think I said it without knowing it. I didn't accuse them of doing anything. I only said what I know. And what was proven in the court of law. About Morris McCabe and Tusa. And Tusa should really, really up their game. For God's sake. Would you just have a heart. And just up your game for the children of Ireland who need you. The ones that don't have any hope. And they're hoping that you to help them and save them from bad situations. But apparently they're not because they're too busy making up lies about God knows who. Anyway, take a watch and subscribe more. Bye.